Bitcoin is a financial revolution, but it didn't appear out of nowhere. Earlier forms of digital money existed, but many were shut down and some never took off. To solve the problem of sending money electronically between two people safely, it had to stand on the shoulders of early pioneers. Here are five digital money precursors to Bitcoin. Number one, DigiCash. For decades, banks had already begun using computer systems to transfer funds in the form of electronic money. One of the first cryptographers to start experimenting with a purely electronic form of currency was David Chong. Chong went on to found his own payment method company called DigiCash, which he began trialing in 1994. He was the first to conceptualize the idea of a token, which could be the representation of what individuals exchanged during a transaction. And in order for information to be passed between individuals safely, DigiCash's encryption included a signature of authenticity, what Chom called a blinding formula. Although going bankrupt and due to few customers, DigiCash's formulas, encryption tools and basic idea went on to inspire Bitcoin. Number 2. Hashcash During the early days of the internet, spam was quite a problem. To combat this, Adam Back created Hashcash to block email spam and denial of service attacks, first published on the Cypherpunk's mailing list in May 1997. Hashcash's proof-of-work systems prevented a bot from emailing spam by forcing it to verify itself with an algorithm or computational puzzle, working similar to how a capture works. Bitcoin took this proof-of-work system and turned it on its head. Instead of deterring spam senders, it rewards those who solve computational puzzles. Number 3. B-Money It wasn't just the technical problems of sending money securely that interested cryptographers. The idea that money should and could include anonymity and be decentralised was explored by Wei Dai. Inspired by the ideology of crypto-anarchy, he said, My idea was to create a free financial system on the internet so that no one could introduce taxation and force people to do anything. B-Money used the hashcash cost function as a proof of work during coin mining. However, part of the protocol requires that all of the account keepers decide and agree on the cost of particular computations. Not really a good trust system. Though B-Money was never utilized, Wei Dai's B-Money white paper is the first citation in Satoshi's Bitcoin white paper. Number 4. BitGold now in the digital world, any file, data or code can easily be reproduced as simple as copying and pasting. That's great for writing a term paper, but what's to keep someone from duplicating a digital currency? This is known as the double spending problem. It was Nick Zabo who would start to tackle how to create digital scarcity and make data as unique and finite as gold. BitGold In BitGold, solved puzzles would be sent to a public registry and assigned to the public key of the solver. Each solution would become part of the next challenge, creating a growing chain of new property. This aspect of the system provided a way for the network to verify and timestamp new coins. Bitgold is often referred to as a direct precursor to the Bitcoin architecture. Number 5. E-Gold Arguably the most successful alternative currency, Douglas Jackson's E-Gold was a digital gold currency operated by Gold and Silver Reserve Incorporated. E-Gold allowed users to send in physical gold and receive an E-Gold credit to their account. The service grew popular rapidly. Its market attracted gold bugs and the growing community of online traders wanting a payment method that could cross borders. However, because E-Gold was not decentralized, the fledgling currency was able to be shut down by the US government. While some of these currencies failed or never took off, they laid the groundwork from which Bitcoin emerged and they can help us to understand the necessity for many of Bitcoin's interesting design choices. If you like my channel, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. I also have a Patreon account and wanted to give a special shout out to all the awesome people there. And a huge thank you to the sponsors of the show for making these videos possible. Thanks so much for watching. She used to just party.